Hello and welcome to my first match in the Seaside 2E Mixed Tournament. I am playing against Yorica, who I actually played in Allies Mix as well, um, and lost to, but ended up winning my group anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a weird format. Um, I fell just below the cutoff for like between the top and bottom halves of the tournament. So I'm in a five-player group, I think. Or no, wait, I'm in a four-player group? Yeah, I think I'm in a four-player group, and then the, the top half of the bracket is five-player groups where two players advance, and the bottom half is four-player groups or one-player advances, something like that. Anyway, it's, it's a four-game four match, and... Uh, the, yeah, the top finisher in my group will advance to the bracket stage. I'm not sure if it's actually one final bracket or not, but whatever. Seaside 2E two, two e Mix also is, you know, it's like the mixed tournaments, but it's we, there was a previous Seaside Mix. It's been updated with the second edition cards. Uh, hopefully that's all clear. All right, so... We have... Sailor... The only trashing. We have Sea Witch attack stuff. We've got Blockade and Smugglers for gains. We've got Odysseys. So I guess Sunken Treasure is also a source of gains. I guess Island is technically a source of thinning as well. Probably not super relevant early. Um, we're definitely going to want to open with a Sailor and then because we were, we're going to want to get trashing, and then ideally we would use that to get either a blockade or a sea witch into play, depending, possibly another sailor, but more likely a blockade. We could transport a sea witch, an open sailor. We could also take an old map. I don't, I don't anticipate voyage being particularly good here. I, th I think it's rare, relatively rare that Voyage is good, and I don't see any like obvious synergies for it. Um, so I'm not super concerned about that. Let's see. I think the main question is, do I want to open Old Map Sailor, or do I want to transport a Sea Witch? Um, transport Sea Witch is definitely going to be more like reliable. Uh, the actually, I guess. Oh yeah, if we if we if we transport the sea witch, we don't get to play it with the sailor. So that is like a potential downside, depending on the timing. But I think it's worth it. I mean, I guess in theory, if we somehow do hit five, we can uh, with the sailor. What well, that's literally impossible, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we'll just transport the see which. It, 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 like, yeah, it was literally impossible for us to hit five, but if we had somehow done it, we could have always bought a sea witch and exile or uh, discarded the other one from exile, but yeah, not, not actually possible, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we get a second Sea Witch, and we know we're not going to have Terminal Collision going into the next shuffle, so I think that's probably the way to go. I do want to get a Blockade, but I think we take the Sea Witch for now, and then um, we can hopefully get a decent price point with... Okay, well... Hmm. Sailor and the other Sea Witch actually both missing the shuffle here. Um, oh, there's also Village Green synergy with Sea Witch. That's notable. That's going to make the, it a better draw card than it would be otherwise. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a blockade. Like The odds... Well... Let's see. So we... We saw we trashed an estate, we saw and discarded a copper in an estate. So down here we have Sailor, Sea Witch, Copper, Estate. 
So the odds of hitting four... I mean, they're reasonable. They're not great, right? We've got, in, a, in our discard over here, we have two non-coppers uh, in our other Sea Witch and... Uh, no, sorry, we will have with the, this Sea Witch. And then, um, so three. Sea Witch, the Curse, and the Estate out of... And then we'll also have six coppers that we could draw. We would need to draw... Oh, wait, no. We will, will we only hit three? No, because we're going to draw... We're going to draw a card. We would need... But we will need to draw three coppers with those three cards. That's not very likely. So I think... I think I'll... Although we can't play the blockade anyway is the other issue. So maybe it is correct to get a village green... As opposed to a blockade. Like we can't... Well, if we could afford a blockade, we could play it. But if we... The point being that if, if the... If we draw like a blockade with the Sea Witch, the Duration Sea Witch, yeah, I think, I think Village Green is, is a little bit better here. I do want to get a blockade. Yeah, see, that's this is the that's what what you want to actually see. Although I don't, I don't agree with the choice to to use that to play a village green. I would take either a sailor or a blockade. But right, and then we hit three, and we actually drew the village green. Okay. Um, hmm. So we could transport. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I wouldn't mind having a smugglers, but we're they're not in a great spot to take advantage of that right now. We could just take like a supplies, I guess. We could also take a warehouse, knowing that we're going to have village greens in the deck. And that we're also going to have junk in the deck. That seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, we definitely had the worst shuffle here. Compared to our opponent. Oh god. Now I'm kind of thinking that if we have the opportunity to get a four cost duration to play, it might need to be another sailor just because taken more curses than we would probably be expected to at this point. We are going to get to trash one here. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter what order we do this in. Okay, so we hit six, which is kind of more than I need. Um, and we find the warehouse, which is, is not helpful. Um, we could go ahead and take another sailor, a blockade. We could take piazza. I don't think that's very good. Uh, I think I'm actually going to take the blockade. Because I don't have much money in my deck. And I need to... I mean, I did manage to hit 6 there somehow, but... I need to, like... I'm not, that's not going to continue to happen on a consistent basis. And I need a way to, like, gain stuff. I do want another Sailor, but... 
Well, we might hit four here anyway. Our opponent gets their sailors into play. Yeah, I'm just where you are not. Um, okay. Why would you not want to play it? I mean, oh. No, there was not. And you can afford, you cannot afford anything, any durations to play with your sailors. It's good for me. Yeah, so it, I should be able to hit, oh, you know, I have the sea duration sewage, so we are going to get to activate the village green for what that's worth. It's probably not worth much, but I, I mean, it's effectively plus one card, I guess. Um, question is, do we want to do this now? So if we do, if we go now... <gasps> we saw... <sighs> We saw six of our coppers, right? Um, wait, how did that even? Oh, no, we had two coins from the sailor. That's right. So we saw four of our coppers, which just means these are the other three. So this is a junk, a junk on top of our deck. So we might as well get next turn. We're not. I, I, I don't know if it's an estate or a curse, but either way. Um, I think I'm going to transport a village green. When we get it out of exile, we will get to play it. Which we will get to do with the blockade. And our opponent can't like get a blockade into play that's gonna cause us to take a curse for it or anything like that here, so. We are gonna get, wanna get more sea witches. Also, something to note is that there is not actually any plus buy here. So, like, there is a limit to how much building we can really do. But we can do things like blockade island um, or during the greening phase. Yeah, if we blockade a village green here, we will get to play the one that we have in exile. So that'll be good. So on the one hand, we're definitely like losing in terms of shuffle quality and like the curse race. But I think I think I prefer my purchase decisions a little bit. I don't know if it'll be enough to make up the difference. Like having the blockade I think is gonna be good. I don't have the second sailor, which is not great. But I do have a fair amount of sifting anyway, so it might not be so bad. One thing that, oh, I guess because the blockade sets the village green aside, we know we'll have one in our hand next turn. So we probably start with blockade village green so that we can play the one that we're discarding from exile so that uh, we get to draw that card before we play the warehouse. I mean, we might, I don't know, we might draw a sea witch or whatever off the duration village green anyway, but. Uh,
yeah, that just seems good. My opinion. Yorko should get a blockade. It's possible I should get a second blockade, I suppose, rather than the village green. I guess we'll see what we draw with the one we have in play, but I do... I mean, I can always buy a blockade rather than gaining one. Having a second blockade seems like a good idea. When you exile something from the supply, do you gain it? No. That is a way around the blockade curse. Not that that's going to matter for too long. That's a probably not ever what I want. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to start with the Sea Witch. Um, the odds that we can hit four here seem very good if we're blockading a village green, which means I think I, that's what I want to do. Now we could put another Sea Witch into play, but that seems a little excessive. I think I prefer to get the blockade into play. Is it, it is too bad that like all of my durations are in play at once here. But hmm. Maybe I should take this the third Sea Witch. I get to empty the curses on it. That's that is probably better, huh? We're gonna need to try to find a way to like smooth this out a little bit, but I don't know. That, the tempo from that is too hard to resist. I'm only going to trash one of these, right? So we can... This is awkward. We... The warehouse triggers a shuffle. I would like to next turn this village green, right? Maybe I just stop here. Although, yeah, I discarded. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, two cards on top of the deck. So we we discarded six cards, but then like three of them were village green. So there's three cards in the discard. So we get yeah, it, it's doesn't 
really matter. We saw all of our stuff. Um, we could honestly use more draw. Wait, somehow I'm ahead on BP. Is that because I still have an estate? I guess giving out the last three curses is a pretty big deal. Um, This, se this feels like a pivotal decision point. How do we want to approach the rest of the game? I like next next turn. I expect that I am going to want to blockade a blockade. Um, have the duration village green in play. Like we we'll blockade the blockade. We might want to use Sailor to gain Sailor, though so that, uh, uh, I don't know. I wonder if what we actually want is a merchant ship. Like we're, we're actually close to the point where we want to start provincing, I think. So like we could take a gold, but maybe a merchant ship is actually better because it's more draw favorable, um, and we have we have plenty of actions. Uh, getting a, yet another sea witch is not crazy. Um, just for more draw, but. How about the blockade thing? Is it slow? Like another another option is to take another blockade now. And then we can we can get both another sailor and like get you know, village green or whatever. I mean, we still have this problem where like all of our durations are being played on the same turn and it's super imbalanced, but maybe we can start to work our way out of that next turn. Maybe. We take... I guess another option, well, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know how to do this. I mean, we don't, we're not, we're not like fully drawing here. Like maybe I should take another sea witch. And then the goal is to get two of them into play next turn. We can use Sailor to play. Like a merchant ship next turn. Maybe we blockade Village Green or Sailor. I don't I don't know. Yeah, let's get one more draw card, I guess. I'm I'm really not confident in that. Okay, thank God I have this duration village green. <laughs> I definitely have more draw than my opponent. I have I haven't thinned as much. But I definitely have more draw. Four sea witches to two. I also have a warehouse, and I have more village greens. Three to two on those. Or maybe it's it is three to two, right? Not four to two. Yeah. But yeah, maybe the play here is we get we like blockade blockade, but don't play the blockade, and then we buy a merchant ship and play that with the sailor or something like that. I could see that being 
correct. We'll see how we draw, I guess, first before we... Jump to too many conclusions. <laughs> okay, well... I guess... I guess what we actually need is another village green. If we transport one and then blockade one, that might actually work out better than... And if we buy one. So I think that is what I'm going to do. Although we're gonna we're gonna see village greens to discard, so that's probably not necessary. In fact, maybe it's better to take not village green at all. Take the other blockade. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We know we're going to get to discard two village greens here. But on the other hand, having even more village greens to discard will be helpful. Yeah, let's take the village green. I don't know. This is it's tough to navigate. I, I really wish my deck was a little bit more balanced here. Piles are getting low. It's going to be hard to empty on like sea witches, of course. Oh, they didn't any village greens. I guess I don't have that many. But that's good for me. Yeah, smugglers. Okay. Um, we're gonna go first copper state copper. Um As we'll play this. Let's get one of these for next turn. Okay, so we can get. We could blockade, blockade. I think the smugglers would be good too, but I don't know that it's necessarily better than blockade. Like we could blockade smugglers. I'm thinking about just putting another village green into play for duration. Um. I mean, we could also blockade, blockade, play the blockade with the sailor, and then blockade smugglers. And then we'd have an extra blockade the following turn. We don't get to put a village green into play. What do we buy? Probably another sailor at that point. Yeah, I think...
So we're only going to get to draw one card before we trash, which is unfortunate because we may well not see a junk. I mean, copper is junk, but not in the same way, you know. Definitely want to be thinking about getting like something like merchant ship into play at this point. But... Uh what did they gain? Village green. And blockade. Hmm. Well, definitely smuggle the village green. Well, maybe that wasn't a good idea. I mean, I'm going to have one duration sea witch. At this rate, I won't have any duration village greens. I guess I can gain a village green at the blockade as well. Yeah, all right. Aha. Now, I think I will... I think I will gain another village green. Right. And then I'm going to put a merchant ship into play. Okay. In this turn, we should be buying province. We have two sea witches, a sailor, a blockade, and a merchant ship in play. That's pretty, pretty perfect distribution. We'll see if that holds up. It probably won't. <laughs> I think ideally we're going to be blockading I Island. We'll see how that goes. find your smugglers that's good did you blockade oh you didn't you had that duration okay how many times have you okay you played a sailor yeah, that's it. Piazza, bad. <laughs> Not super surprising. If... If they buy... Sea Witch, I might be able to just win this turn. Depending on what I draw off of the duration sea witches and whether I can trash a curse because I can smuggle a sea witch I can blockade a village green and I can buy a sea witch I don't think they will buy a sea witch that'd be an odd choice but I guess 
Yeah, I do have one of my blockades in play. I guess in theory... No, never mind. I was going to say... Oh, they took the village green. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and just trash a curse, I guess. I mean, I know I'm going to do it. Um, we have plenty of actions. This has got to be next turn. I mean, the only reason to play it now would be if we thought we could win, but there's not there's not any way for us to get three sea witches. So Did they gain anything that I can smuggle? They gained a blockade. Uh uh I haven't found my sailor yet. I guess I want to do that, huh? We're gonna buy buy a province, so we could we could smuggle a blockade into play. That's probably a good idea. the sailor blockade meaning island smuggle blockade sailor meaning another island a province Conceivably, our deck is actually going to get thinner here, despite the province purchases, if we can like, actually island our provinces. And then also trash a card. <laughs> Although, we did also gain some other stop cards. Not that it, it's going to matter this turn, but it could matter next turn if there is a next turn, depending on what our opponent does. It's also going to get increasingly dangerous for our opponent to gain those blockades because, like, I can smuggle blockade, I can sailor blockade to blockade blockade and use the blockade I already have to gain blockade and blah blah blah. So, like, there's there's some risk there. So they may not be able to follow with the smugglers on that. They can smuggle island. That is probably less risky, but still kind of risky. Like, I don't. I don't I can't get five islands, but depending on what they want to use their blockade on. I mean they can always like blockade like supplies or warehouse or old map, of course. Sure have a lot of cards in play. Sure do. You're gonna blockade island. Okay. It means I can gain. Oh, smuggle. I mean, if you smuggle island too, again, 
I think, well, maybe it's harder for me, a little harder for me to lower islands than it is for me to lower blockades because I can't use Sailor to like effectively gain one. So maybe that is safe, although I also will not be. If I smuggle one and I blockade one, oh, you don't have the ability to buy province. Yeah, that's okay. Put these in our hand. We draw cards with village green. You see which. Do that. I think we just need to go now. Now, so we have we have three blockades. Two of them are in play. Mostly, we want to find our other sea witches, I guess. I might as well do this now. Um, we can discard the estates. The warehouse can discard the village green. Maybe that was a bad idea. I mean, it probably doesn't matter, but... We're like leaving one junk on top of our deck. We don't need. Wait, where's our? Oh, we only have one province. Oh, so we can island the estate, right? We don't need both of these coppers. Or say either. These coppers. Okay. So we can island province and state play merchant ship. So we smuggle island blockade. Island. We can't gain both of the remaining islands, but it doesn't matter. We can do it next turn. Yeah, the fact that my opponent couldn't hit province last turn it's pretty bad for them, although I'm not sure that they could catch up even if they had. Province Island Island is 10 points, which would get them to 15. Another province would get them to 21. Yeah, I mean, they would have been potentially in striking range, depending on... It would depend on, like, Curse and Island trashing and stuff, but... Anyway. Alrighty. Time to roll up another kingdom. That, it didn't clear the kingdom. How do I clear? a long one just kind of took a while to get going on that board slow trashing cursing slow draw anyway um so speaking of slow trashing we've got church Uh, what are we? So there's the only village is innovation here, which is usable with artificer, but we can't really play like a merchant guild stack or something like that. We 
probably just want to play with Haunted Woods and then maybe one Merchant Guild. It's like our draw is Archive, Haunted Woods. Play with two Haunted Woods, one Merchant Guild for plus buy and some Artificers, some Archives. We're going to open Church, probably Church Cargo Ship. I don't think Tent is worth worrying about. I would take a Hill Fort, I guess, but... Uh, getting there seems not worth the bother. Wait, should I take a cargo ship? Because that's not a, the terminal that I want in the long run. Hmm. Maybe it is. I mean, maybe Merchant Guild's not even necessary, right? If we have Artificer. The thing is, we don't have like a ton of draw. We're not going to like double province with Artificer. But... Hmm. Hmm. And cargo ship is good now, and we can always like if we have archive, then that is gonna help with terminal decollision. Yeah, I think I'll take the cargo ship. Five. Okay. Um so do we go archive first or we do we go for haunted woods? I think I like archive first we want to hit innovation as quickly as possible and ideally we buy haunted woods after we get innovation Okay, so I think I think cargo shipping another church here. The way to go. Set aside copper estate. These two cards are both estates. So they are they are all going to miss the shuffle, which makes it pretty likely that we will hit innovation next shuffle. Not next turn, but next shuffle. Mission for trashing. Sure, I mean, that makes sense. That's, no, we could, that's something we could consider here. Set, just set aside a state and buy mission. And we get to trash. But the problem is we don't get to, like, trash again after that. Yeah, no, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so we have a copper on top of the deck. We have a copper set aside. That's two coppers. Um, and we want to set aside an estate for sure. You know, we could actually set aside double estate and then mission. Would that guarantee innovation? Um... Let me think about this. I'm not sure that it would. The scenario in which it would not. No, it would, because we have a copper coming in from archives. So even if we find church, oh no, wait, if we find church and four coppers, we take a copper, we hit five, we don't hit six. So we would need to see either need to see the cargo ship or not see the church. What are the odds of that? So we have five coppers, cargo ship, church. The failure case is that we don't see cargo ship and we do see church, which is like five and seven to see church. And then 
two in six to not see cargo ship or something like that. I think it's worth trying. Got there. This is not really the hand I want to see. Oh, we do get an extra copper up. Okay. Um, so we could we could set aside nothing and buy like a secret passage. I'm not too excited about that. We could also take another cargo ship. Innovating that doesn't really do anything. Um, or we could just set aside max cards. Yeah, getting another cargo ship without the other cargo ship in play doesn't really accomplish anything. So I think I'm going to do this. We're going to Wonder hmm. Are they trying to hit innovation too? I'm wondering about like innovating just innovating haunted woods versus like artificer or something. Yeah, okay. So Or like not even innovating the artificer, just cargo shipping it. That's probably just worse, isn't it? But then there's not really much reason to be the card. Or well, I guess there is. We get to set aside more cards. No way. The way around. Archive doesn't do anything this turn unless we innovate an artificer, in which case we can use the archive to set aside the cards we discard with the artificer. Which I do like. I like getting the artificer with a big hand size. Although, part of the question here is like, what are we, like, we need cards to, to have in the deck in order for Artificer to like do stuff, right? So yeah, I'm actually wondering about Pirate. Pirate can react to Artificer gains, which could make it non-terminal. We can set aside the archive. Um, we could go Haunted Woods again. Or we could do Artificer. So we do Artificer. What are we gaining with the Artificer? Wait, we can't, no, the, the order is wrong there because we were buying the Artificer, like discarding with it doesn't set up the Archive. Yeah, okay, so we might as well set aside the Archive. I think we... Hmm. Yeah, we need to get the 
the artificer going, I guess. And the best way to do that is to cargo ship it. Okay, so we can do Artificer, use Artificer, we go one, two, three, four, five. Gain an Artificer and innovate it. We're not gonna discard here. Uh, play the Archive. Play the church. Do we want to buy a silver? I guess we probably want to buy a silver. We actually have too much draw right now, which is awkward. <laughs> At some point, we are maybe going to want to consider Artificer for Pirate. I say we have too much draw. We did. We sort of didn't draw a deck there, like after we played the Artificer. But now we're gonna like not even draw three cards with the Haunted Woods. So it's like I don't know. <laughs> it's goofy. We're gonna also not take really taking advantage of the innovation terminal space right now. We could, if we wanted to innovate a Haunted Woods this turn with our Artificer, we could do that. Um, and play the cargo ship and then have like the second terminal. I don't know if that's actually the way to go. Robinson, okay. I have been put on notice. Um, it is possible that we shouldn't trash here, right? It's going to be complicated to figure out. But if we play Artificer, we have five treasures to discard. A gain of five. I do think that would probably be another artificer. I mean, we could discard like the church or the cargo ship, but um, maybe it should be haunted woods. Hmm. So we get haunted woods going every turn. That will definitely help. Uh, doing that. So we, if we discard the five, we innovate a Haunted Woods, we play Artificer, we're top decking four treasures. We're likely to be able to 
we'll, we'll definitely be able to cargo ship um, another artificer. It's one, two, three, four, and then any of these makes five. Um, we wouldn't have anything to church. So, like, maybe... Maybe we trash a copper and discard the church. Whoop, ah. Or, or should I? Hold on. I guess I could discard on the second one. But then I don't get to buy an artificer. Well, I didn't consider that I might draw the church. Well, I didn't. So it's fine. My opponent will definitely be able to province like somewhat reliably over the next two to three turns, but after that, after that, I don't know. Um, okay, so now we go this or Use Artificer to innovate. I think just another Artificer. Should we discard one of the churches? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we can province this turn. And then we aren't going to be too far behind, and we're going to have Artificer Gains to help us ca catch up. Okay, I guess our, our archive is in there. That's fine. We might want to innovate an archive this turn, actually, depending on how things go. I guess they did get their, their pirate into play last turn, which is pretty unfortunate. It's not probably guaranteed. Church presumably gets around the Haunted Woods attack for the most part, so I don't think that's really going to affect them too much. Oh, huh. That's a surprising move, though. Because now, next turn, you won't have Church. Um, if five coins off of this... I mean, I do think, ideally, we want to continue to trash Copper, because going to be gaining provinces. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's maybe it's correct, maybe it's not, not entirely clear. Um I think I want to see the archive or and or the haunted woods before I decide okay, having the province to discard potentially also helps. But we can't Oh no, never mind.
Okay, so we have four coins, six. Yeah, we've got we've got enough. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Gain, Artificer, Innovate it, Discard, Archive. I think we take Copper. Let's cargo ship. Now do we cargo ship the province? That's an interesting question. I think so. We've got, we're getting to the point where we don't really need the two coins from the cargo ship. Although we, if we want to try to double province, well, of course, having the larger hand size will help with that. They buy a province. Turns out I should have taken the no, because the church would have been the one card and it wouldn't have done anything. Never mind. Um, hmm. I am not sure. It increases our hand size at the cost of money. I think I am going to cargo ship it because if we have to skip province for a turn and take duchy, like double duchy instead or something, we can do that. Our opponent has no ability to, to gain multiple cards per turn. Well, I guess they could innovate something this turn, gain, and then the next turn they'd be able to, like innovate Merchant Guild or Artificer or something. That might be what they should do if they can afford... If they could afford... Eh, I don't know what they would need to afford for that to make sense. Because, like, province is still potentially dangerous for them. I mean, maybe not. I'd have to get double province to state to, to win, which would definitely be difficult. Maybe possible. Maybe. I mean, how do I... I guess the question is, how do I get the hand size I need? I might, maybe I start with the hand size that I need. But then... I draw three from the Haunted Woods. I draw one from the cargo ship. I draw one from the archive. I don't have the church, unfortunately, which would help even more. But I think I would be looking to do that as Eureka to innovate something. But we'll see what they do. I don't need to solve the problem for them. Not sure if I, I think I think in their position innovating merchant guild might be better because they don't have the draw to really take advantage of artificer. Well they don't really have the money probably to take advantage of innovating merchant guild either, so it's like I don't know. It's probably awkward either way. If they don't take a province this turn which it looks like they may well not. And if those are all three green cards they're top decking, then wow. But that would be weird. Like, how would they have gotten into that situation with all the church set up? Oh, because they set aside the cards last turn and then they did, they, they're now in their hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, this is why playing both churches at the same time didn't make sense. Get woods so I can take a province totally safely because they have no ability to, to, to double province. All right, I think we take church here. Um, so the question is, do, does it make sense for us to take 
duchy this turn, or should we just take like another artificer or even a merchant guild conceivably? Like we don't have the cargo ship to play. Um So if we take if we take a province, we're at eighteen. We probably we probably do want. I mean, we don't have to take a province. We could take like. Well, if we're down by three points with two provinces left, and they take a province. And we need province duchy estate. That's that's very doable. That's very doable, right? Artificer for duchy, artificer for estate by province is very doable. So, or like artificer for merchant guild, maybe, and then artificer for for estate and by province duchy, maybe that works. Probably easier to just artificer for duchy and estate. Um, but. So I'm thinking we probably don't need another artificer, but we could take I mean, we could take a merchant guild, like I said. Could also take another archive. That would have some. That would help our for our hand size next turn. We're gonna do that. We want to do it closer to the bottom of the shuffle. So I guess I'm gonna play this artificer and this artificer. And then use the artificer. Is this five, six, seven? There is a risk here that we fail to hit province, I guess. Or is there? Maybe there's not. We discard five cards. One, two, three, four, five. We see three of them with archive. And then we see the last two with the Artificer. So yeah, actually we're guaranteed to be able to hit it. So I think, I think we do. That archive, innovate it. Okay, we'll take the Church, I guess. If the game lasts longer, well, doesn't really probably matter any which way, but five, six, seven, eight, so we can set aside church copper. We might be able to double province as well at this point. Like with maybe maybe it's actually innovating another haunted woods was better. I thought about that. I mean, I kind of did, and then I kind of dismissed it, and then but it might have actually been better. Okay, archive, archive, draw, don't trash. So we go Artificer, Discarding, Church, Province, or State. Artificer, 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 
three, four, five. Ugh, dang it. I can't count, apparently. One, two, three, four, five. Dutchy. Yeah, okay, so the the artificer thing worked. Pretty pretty pleased with that. Mm, I disagree. I don't know if I should <laughs> if I wanna uh, I don't know if I should say anything about that, but I do not think that they would have won if they had uh, hit province the previous turn. I think I just had way more control there. And, like, if they hit province, there's two provinces left. Like, I can, I can take double duchy, and then they take province, and I take province of state or something. Like, it's really not... Um, Yeah, I, 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 I don't I don't agree at all. It just feels rude to say so, but like in chat, but yeah, I, I don't agree. Okay, so um we got sailor trashing again, and that's it again. So we're gonna wanna open with a sailor. We can innovate sailor innovate, you know monkeys which is pretty cool um gear is a good card but it's a little awkward that like you know if you draw the sailor dead like you're gonna want to play the sailor maybe maybe sailor monkey is the play and then you plan to sailor innovate the gear instead i mean there is a risk there that you hit like Two, but you can always buy a supplies. Monkey's going to be a lot of draw here. A lot of draw. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually go for the monkey. I mean, I guess you could also have like sailor, state of state monkey, and like that sort of thing, but whatever. Not a problem. So we could innovate village green instead of gear but i think i think gear here is actually just better i mean we are certainly going to want to get a village green but although oh no never mind the monkeys yeah we're not going to get to play the monkey until next turn and then it will trigger a shuffle, but after we've already cleared the save. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's it's just clearly correct to, to do this. We get to trash state. We get to play our monkey. The one problem is we're not hitting four here, which was pretty unlikely. We had to... Well, maybe it wasn't that unlikely. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, wait. We had five. What am I talking about? <laughs> All right. Um, so we could go for Coven. The monkey's going to miss the shuffle. We're going to try to put another one into play with Sailor. So the question is, do we think Coven is relevant? And I think the answer is yes. The other option is... We could traveling fair a monkey. Um, huh. Is that better? I mean, we're going to draw cards with this monkey. I don't think so. There is definitely, you know, a risk here, obviously, of like, ah, eh, we 
even if we draw like we're gonna draw one card minimum we draw probably more like two but if we see neither like the sailor nor the monkey that'll be pretty sad but or sorry sailor nor gear that'll be pretty sad but you know Even if that happens, we'll be in, I think we'll still be in decent shape. Okay, so... In that hand is Sailor, Monkey, Copper, or no, no, sorry, Sailor, Gear, Copper, Copper, Copper. Um, we're going to trigger a shuffle, so I'm inclined, I'm inclined to Traveling Fair of Village Green, and that way that we can play the gear non-terminally. We can Sailor get another monkey into play, or maybe find this monkey. Okay, well, we're definitely setting aside State Copper and buying Monkey. Yeah, supplies here looks rough. I guess if people don't invest in supplies, then monkey isn't necessarily a ton of draw. Uh, well, there's no reason to not do this now, so... You have a monkey in play. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Um, I think we still got a traveling fair here. And what do we want to do with it? We go village green gear. Seems pretty reasonable. Set aside gear, estate, play monkey, buy oven. We have sailor and play merchant ship. I 
mean, it's got to be gear estate. Oh, we can we can do village green. And next turn it. We could also take another sailor, I guess. We do have another village green down there, right? I'm pretty sure I have both of the village greens. Um Yeah, so like arguably not needed. Could be a good time to innovate sailor. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Actually, innovate astrolabe for buys rather than using traveling fare when we have sailor when we're playing sailor. I should keep that in mind. Because the problem is, like, you're less likely to have the big money turn when you played the sailor. Yeah, second coven looks pretty unnecessary. Like, we probably will lose the curse split, but only barely. Right, like if they if they manage to play two curses next or two covens next turn, actually even then, so long as we play our coven next turn, we we split it even. So I'm pretty happy with how that panned out. So we can set aside the village green, or we can I guess setting aside the village green makes sense because we can't next turn it and still play the monkey. Did you get a monkey into play? You did not. You did not. Okay. Um, so we need look at getting some more payload. I do think next turn is the time for Astrolabe when we get Sailor into play. Um, let's see. We don't really need more draw. We could take a gold, I guess. Um, I mean, we could take gold, gold astrolabe, I suppose. Or we could split the difference and go gold C chart. C chart's pretty solid here. For some reason we have totally ignored tent. I guess all the gaining stuff is like there's monkey, so it's kind of like a wash rather than being really strong. Yeah, okay. Let's go gold C chart, I think. Put both of your monkeys. Oh, I guess you have three. Yeah, so we split the curses, and I get to dump the curses first, assuming I draw, which does seem likely. Uh, and over 
here doesn't matter. Cool. Um, gear first in case we want to next turn the village green. I mean, what is that last card? Or what are the last three cards? One of them is a sailor. One of them is a copper. The other one is... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what we could do here is set aside. Yeah, so we drew the we drew copper sailor, and I don't know. Maybe maybe it's another copper. Oh, did I set aside copper last turn? That yeah, I did. Okay, so it is another copper. All right. Um. So I could set aside I could set aside Village Green Sailor to like get the sailors alternating, which has advantages for like the innovation stuff mostly. That's what I'm thinking about. And we go we have ten if we we could go Astrolabe Province actually. I guess we could get the curses dumped on us here. Well, whatever. At least we're triggering a shuffle without them. Yeah, okay, we definitely will get the curses dumped on us. Oh well, we're going to want to get some more draw this turn then. So that we can get through the curses. Maybe I should have gotten the draw last turn rather than, like, I was thinking, like, oh, they have double monkeys, so I don't want to gain a ton of cards, but maybe that was incorrect. Maybe it was better to just let them draw the cards since they were going to draw enough anyway. They don't have too much payload, which is nice. Merchant ship, okay. Um, I think we almost certainly want to set aside two cards. And the gold, we want the gold. Oh, we didn't find our monkey. Okay, well, we have a sailor in play, so the monkey's the last card. We're going to want to put a monkey into play for sure. And then top deck, I think another village green. And another gear. We may not get the opportunity to trash a curse here. They did. I guess the monkey might draw us. 
versus They do not have a sailor in play. They can't innovate. I will probably try to innovate a monkey again this turn so that I have two monkeys per turn. That'll help with the sailor trashing. I mean, gear setting aside curse will will be even better, I suppose. And just in terms of guaranteeing the trashing, I mean, not necessarily in terms of total draw. Another sailor. I don't really get that. I mean, I kind of get it. No curses. find our uh, astrolabe. That's annoying. Oh, it has two monkeys in play. Mm -hmm. Guess I could just take a merchant ship rather than taking another monkey. Hmm, I could take a next turn village green. I could take a, actually, I've got, I've got multiple curses set aside. I should take a sailor. Okay, you want to draw me cards. Well, okay then. I gotta, I did get through like all of my bad cards here. So I have like all my village green, so I don't really need to take deck control. Like maybe I wonder if I take possibly makes sense to take pilgrimage. Uh take like pilgrimage gold or something. Draw one card. And I could also just take province, I guess. I do that. I mean, I could take another gear, another C chart. Yeah, that's probably worth it. I don't think we need to top deck anything, though. K 
gameplay. I think all my gears are at the other part of the sh shuffle. Oh, but I do have another monkey down here. No, I don't. Just kidding. Dang it. I think we're just going to take another monkey. You don't have any monkeys in play. Good. Three monkeys? Is that too many? Maybe I should take another gear. Hmm. Or, well. Uh. Yeah. Man, I don't have any village greens coming in. Saw like all my village greens last turn. Maybe I should have taken one of those. Yeah, this is not, this is not ideal. Um, we're not going to get the chance to innovate anything either. So I think here is better than monkey here. Yeah. <laughs> Should we trash copper? I think so. Hmm. I guess we can always set aside with the other gear. I'm going to set aside a village green, though. You have one monkey in play. Okay. Um, I think I... I mean, I do have... I have set aside village green, monkey... It's, it's my, I mean, I do have... A curse left down here. I'm fairly likely to draw it. I guess. No, well. Yeah. I'm thinking about merchant ship. I think that's the way to go. don't really have enough village greens for the amount of terminals that I have, unfortunately. If they take province here, they're not taking province, it looks like. Which is good. 
It's very good. Here, here, merchant ship, don't trash. Now, I think we just go ahead and now both of these. Do have a monkey in play. Okay, so if I take province and they somehow hit double province, they do have four duration coins. So I might be better off going for like village green duchy. Duration, play the village green. Oh. I don't have a sailor. I didn't get a sailor into play. Uh, should I ask for an undo on that? No. I don't know if I should be afraid of double province here. Like, I don't think it's super likely, but... Four coins is... I mean, they don't have the gold that I do. I probably should have just bought Province. I do have the two monkeys in play, so they're not going to want to get too much here. Okay. We already have a monkey in play, so let's so play gear. Great. Where are our village greens? Come on. We can buy Duchy. You don't have a monkey in play, okay. Okay, we want to set aside curse for sure. So we have a sailor. We did play a sailor this turn. And then the other one is a question. Merchant ship might actually be the play here. Um Are we just buying duchy? Like, I kind of want to use this Sailor Innovation. Do another Duration Village Green. If I'm doing that, I think Gear is the set aside. Maybe I take another C chart as well. I doubt they're hitting province this turn, right? So that's one of the reasons I don't feel too much pressure to, to take duchy. Especially knowing I get to do that. I guess I actually want to play gear first and see if I can manage to get away. Well, okay. Three village greens, so yeah, I think I want to do this. Ah, uh, do we set aside copper? I definitely want to buy province here if I can. You've got Sailor Monkey Merchant Ship. So you, 
once again have some double province threat, but not not too much, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Now we are a coin short of province because we set aside that copper. Double monkey does make me feel better about playing the village green. Triple monkey even. I guess we are taking duchy, huh? This could still end on piles. I think it's unlikely to. Four cards set aside, and we've got three monkeys, two sailors, and an astrolabe in play. Here, here, monkey. Okay, do we want to trash some coppers? Like if we can double province, the answer is definitely, like with, if the coppers help us double province, then we shouldn't trash them. But let's see. We've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 here, plus three. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Play a village green. We've got gear in play, we've got village green in play. We don't have another merchant ship. So we're gonna play C chart. Uh Sailor we've got in play. Excellent. We're definitely gonna play one of these gears. Set aside some provinces. So it appears. We... Wait, do we have double province? Ten. We're one coin short. Okay. Um. Now. This. Now. Next turn, this. Um, you have one monkey in play. One monkey, two sailors. Province duchy. Uh, and this is awkward, so I don't want to draw them a bunch of cards. I mean, they don't have either of their merchant ships in play. Like, they're really unlikely to hit. And they, they don't have any plus buy in their deck, so they have to hit 18 to double province. Um, I think we gear Sea Chart Village Green. We definitely... Take province, right? The fact that we're one coin short of being able to... Like, we could take a merchant ship and try to threaten double province. I think that's reasonable.
I really don't think they're going to be able to hit 18 coins. I don't think they have 18 coins on their deck. Oh, I don't have any monkeys in play? Does I have... Yeah, maybe... Mm, that's not ideal. I do have... A couple of duration village greens and things, but yeah, I think I may have... I overlooked that. I definitely overlooked that fact. Shoot. I mean, if I can hit province this turn, maybe it doesn't really matter too much. I am going to have four duration of six duration coins. I'm going to draw... Wait, I only have one duration village green? Oh, but I have a village green in the siege chart set aside. I thought I had another duration village green. Guess not. It turns out I should have set aside a copper rather than one of these green cards as well. I didn't know at the time. Oh wait, I didn't set aside any green cards. Huh. Or wait, I'm confused. I have four cards set aside, but it's only showing me two of them. Okay, I do it totally have two other green cards set aside. I know this to be true. Gear. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I assume that's a typo. Oh, gearing, probably. Oh, okay. Well, if you're going to do that, then here, here, that, that, don't trash. Uh, the monkey doesn't actually matter. I don't think there's anything. Oh, I've already hit province. And more. All right. I'm not sure that I played that end game correctly. I think I think I could have probably taken a little better of a line there, but it did work out. I think I think I was too afraid of the double province the previous time. I didn't like properly assess the capability of my opponent's deck. Um Okay, we have, so church, trashing, research, trashing. There is no real draw here. So horn megaturn, not really a thing. I mean, like in theory, you could play four distant shores and like, Maybe do it that way, especially if the estates are already piled. But if the estates are already piled, the game is probably just going to be over. Getting a horn might make sense, but I don't know. I think that's going to be really tough to make work. Um, Coven does push me a little bit towards Voyage being worth picking up. Do we want to open Research or Church? If we open Old Map Church, we can also save. That seems pretty good. There's also Messenger to consider. Mm. I could Messenger Churches, and then like they have three churches, which is probably too many churches. I guess in theory, Church can set up a Horn Mega Turn. If you like with save maybe like if you can play two churches you still need to get eight uniques into play though which seems really hard like you get old map that 
cycles so like that helps but then like everything else is a stop card except for distant shore so i mean if you go like old map distant shore coven you have a duration ghost town you have duration church i mean it's probably not impossible but it seems very hard um anyway i think i think i like save old map Well, okay. We can actually trigger a shuffle without any of these estates in it. I'm not sure if that's actually even good. Like, oh, we can also pursue instead of saving. I was thinking I'm going to save, but... Hmm. Like, I do want to get a coven. I'll definitely be able to get one. I guess I don't want to trigger a shuffle without one, but I maybe I'm not going to have a choice unless I do pursue. Mm. And then in, in that case, because this, this, it draws a card and then it discards a card and then it draws another card and that triggers the shuffle. But if I pursue the old map, yeah okay i think that's the play this also makes the church not miss the shuffle it does also mean the estates don't miss the shuffle but since we want to trash them with the church anyway i think it's fine It would have been much better to see two estates that turn and be able to do like, or one estate and see, do like save and pursue, but whatever. That was not the situation. Um, I'm not going to rotate because I don't want to pick up a voyage right now anyway. It's interesting. In almost every one of these games, Eureka has gotten an extra trasher relative to me. Um, we know that we're going to either see an estate next turn or see an estate now, so I think we can discard this estate. There you go. So we could take a voyage now if we want to. I think... I think I will... I'm not going to want more than one. I feel quite confident about that. I would take a sunken treasure, though. Although sunken treasure... I'm only getting action cards. It's not actually that good. Maybe I leave Voyage up. In order to bait my opponent into taking it. Um, mm -hmm. I really don't think you want, like, well, maybe you do. I don't know. Like, we could save by another voyage, just to, like, hammer the curses. Yeah, all right. We can always trash the voyages later. 
And, like, we can do Pursue and save on the Voyage turn. So, like, there's stuff that we can do even if we don't do anything else. Do I even take the third Voyage? Good Messenger for the Voyage. That seems kind of fun. Okay, um, we obviously are playing Coven. And then we could just church these three cards, or we could play the old map now. Pursue doesn't really do too much here. We could pursue the messenger, I guess. Mostly, it potentially skips our coven, the issue, but... We are going to get to play a voyage, so... I have no idea whether any what whether what I'm doing makes sense, it, but but I'm doing it, I guess. Oh, I do I want to trigger shuffle? Well, I can always messenger discard my deck, so I guess it doesn't matter whether I trigger shuffle or not. So I might as well. Do we want... Oh, wow, we drew the other voyage. <laughs> Do we want to rotate the Odysseys? Probably not. I could see sunk, buying Sunken Treasure here. I mean, we're about to have three voyage turns. Yeah. I don't want to discard because I know I have the Coven on top. So I'm going to keep. So take Coven. Sunken treasure. I think I want another church. And then we do this. We save. I think I'm actually going to save the estate. Because I want to play the church and then trash it. So we're going to pursue church. Okay, so we can gain another coven here. We play church messenger. The discard. I think makes because we trigger a shuffle. No, it actually just totally does not matter. Well, no, it does matter because we're going to gain a coven. All right, 
So we go coven, coven, church, setting aside voyage, copper, copper. We want to buy something. I mean, we probably want to buy something, but what? I mean, we could just pursue, but that would trigger shuffle without the covens. Um, we could save. We could buy a ghost town. There's we don't have terminals. Is the thing the advantage of buying the ghost town is mostly like if we want to try to set up to do horn stuff. I'm kind of thinking we're not going to do that, though. It's just going to be too difficult. Um, yeah. In theory, I guess we could use research draw. Like, use sunken treasure to gain expensive actions and then research them. Is that something we would want to do now? I guess so. Maybe. Or maybe we... Maybe it's better to... Save by Ghost Town and then use Sunken Treasure to gain research. As this this will help us with our like do the coven stuff tempo with the voyages. We're already up five two in curses. Depending on whether our opponent sees their coven again on their voyage turn or not, we could end up winning the curse split, like just absolutely going away. I mean, I, I guess I mean it, we'll, we'll win it. We'll, we, should, we should probably win it going away either way. Oh, I didn't realize I had to play the ghost town because of freaking which I totally did not catch that. Whoops. Speaking of that was dumb. Wow. I mean, I actually don't think it was that dumb in the sense that it's like a pretty unintuitive consequence. But I do regret having this ghost town now for sure. Just hurt my draw rather than helping it. I'm better off doing pretty much literally anything else. Okay. Um... Do we want a distant shore? Maybe we do. Just church the three coppers, play the ghost town. We're certainly going to play the two covens. Do we want to play the messenger? We probably do because we can discard our deck. Which I think is almost purely beneficial. We can save... Distant Shore and pick up a research or a I don't know. I 
Yeah, let's say research. Okay, we're gonna play the distant shore. We want to find a coven here, right? We're gonna play old map. Dang. Oh, wait, we can't play the sunken treasure. Um, okay, so then we I think we set aside. We might not get to trash, but I think setting aside like this is play. Mm. We could have won the curse split nine. No. Eight to two. <laughs> As it is, we're probably going to win at seven to three. Maybe not. Maybe they don't find the coven here. The first thing we're probably going to be start researching is the voyages. <laughs> oh no! Okay, they're definitely going to give me the last curse. Sad. And I'll have a decent chance to dump my curses before I get to dump theirs too. Also sad. I wonder if we're, our goal is just to end this on piles more so than to go for Horn of Plenty or Province or whatever. Oh, no curse dump. Okay. Um, we can hit five. I mean, we could take a horn of plenty. Actually, it's six, I should say. Which means we could save, although we've got the church, so... Doesn't really do a whole lot. I guess we're just churching the research to try to pair it with... Wait, why did I play the voyages? Why did I play the voyages, I ask you? Um, I don't need three voyages anymore. I want to research one. And church. Setting aside voyage, I guess. I think we just discard this. Um, sunken treasure. The gain. I could buy double old map and try to get the rest of the distant shores. Um. We could pick up an island. We could pick up a merchant guild. I'm not super excited about that. We could pick up a merchant ship. I'm not super excited about that. Island. Islanding in a state. Yeah, that seems reasonable.
Somehow I don't have... Oh, I guess it was only, I only had the one uh, old map before I bought the other two. Maybe I wasn't meant to discard with my messenger. I guess we might want to start playing the voyages again to clean up, help accelerate cleaning up curses. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna play this distant shore. Ha. Huh. We can already afford Distant Shore, and we know we have the Sunken Treasure down here to get another one on a Voyage turn. I think I'm down for that. So we go... Voyage... Play our Covens... Oh, I can't actually Island a Copper. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Okay, we could set aside... Yeah, let's play the old map then. Just discard the voyage. Hmm. Uh, or we could play it. Eh, we probably want to play it. But, I mean, we could discard the ghost town, I guess. Or the island. Yeah, let's discard the island, because we're, we're going to likely see the messenger here. <sighs> okay, so we're going to play the voyage. We're going to, now that we have the six, we're going to church... Copper, copper, sunken treasure. Play the messenger. We're going to buy a distant shore. Ghost town. I think I'm going to trash the estate. Like, yeah, I want to island them, but... Um, we don't want to play the Distant Shore because we want to gain one with Sunken Treasure. So I think we go with Old Map. This card, don't rotate. Hmm. We want to be able to trash Curse. Well, we're going to have more Curses down there, I guess. I mean, mostly we want to find... We want to like spin through so that we can hit our sunken treasure again, which is pretty unlikely. Or find the research. But if we find the research now, we can't save it. So maybe, maybe we play Coven, save, Save curse or we save old map? Not sure. I think I'm gonna save curse.
Okay, this is pretty good. So I can play Coven. Oh, that is the end of the Distant Shore, so we didn't even need to find the Sunken Treasure. I can play Coven to, to afford Pursue. I can Church two Curses. An Island and a State. Pursue Research. This is certainly a game of Dominion. <laughs> oh, man. And now we can kind of go for an estate pileout as well as an island pileout. Trash yield curse. Yeah, I think we do want to be playing these voyages now. Do we, want, do we want to do a big research? Doing it into the voyage turn isn't very good, right? We kind of want to save that. So I think I'm going to go Distant Shore. Old map. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I do think I was going to win that one. Um... What a weird game. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> ha, I have preempted you. <laughs> so, um... Oh, too late. Oh, it really would be good for me if they do well in the rest of their games. Um... Yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, it would be interesting to see if it was possible to, like, go for some kind of horn thing with, like, research draw and whatever. I do think that, like, the Voyage Coven interaction was, like, pretty strong. I gave my opponent seven curses. Um, not on board with minimal draw. But, I don't know. Better players than I might be able to figure out how to, how to do something powerful. Like, I would not call what I did on that board powerful. Um, cute, maybe. <laughs> but not powerful. Anyway, uh, so thanks for watching. And I will be back with some more of this tournament at some point. I've also got a league match. My first of the season is scheduled for next week. So, until then.